Hey friends and family, thanks so much for tuning in today. I have a really exciting video for you. This is our guest bedroom makeover. So for those of you who don't know, Nate and I, um, that's my husband, we actually moved to a coastal town in the north east portion of the United States and so we have been really enjoying it and it has brought a lot of cool and fun home projects. So one of the things that I've been doing to most of the rooms that I've been making over is painting. So I cocked and painted the trim part with a high gloss white paint and that just really helps keep the baseboards cleaner and I also use that same white paint for the windowsill. Um, as well just to kind of make it a little bit more distinct from the walls. So this is actually the next day. I'm starting on the wall portion of this room and I'm using my <laughs> go-to paint Swiss coffee by Burr and this has been I really do appreciate this color this has been a really warming like neutral color that really goes with a lot so I'm just going to be trimming around the baseboards and the corners and then I'm going to be rolling with my roller So this is another day, still working on the guest bedroom, and I'm actually just gonna be putting up the blackout curtains on the sliding door. This door leads out to our lanai, um, which we really appreciate, just this kind of enclosure where we can go out and enjoy the sunshine. And so I got this curtain rod from Amazon, and these curtains, blackout curtains, are pretty much a staple in my house. I have them for all of our sliding doors or windows and bedrooms and they work so great they're from target i'll be sure to link them in the, in the description box below now we're actually on to the fun part which is kind of piecing the room together so my husband and i got this bed um, the mattress is our former mattress and then the bed i actually got on facebook marketplace and the lady that I bought it from spent like a thousand dollars for this like bed frame and it's like solid wood, it's, it's extremely heavy. We really appreciate just the tall headboard and so I'm just putting these two little um, bedside tables beside the bed. My husband hung this hanging lamp and I think it just gives a little bit of character and warmth because it is kind of this rattan material and so I really do like warming up my spaces with like wood or like neutral color colors. Um, so I'm also just going to be making the bed really quickly and we are having, I think this was right before actually my in-laws came down. So I'm just, I just freshened up the sheets, washed them, and then I'm just going to be making the bed with my top sheet and my fleece sheet. And then I have this comforter that's just super soft and cozy. So it really makes the bed look very fluffy and airy and welcoming. I ended up changing these pillow covers to just solid white ones just because I felt like it went better and it wasn't like competing with patterns or things like that. So um, while it is like the white with a little blue in it currently, I did end up changing that out. Another styling tip when I'm making a bed look very welcoming and cozy is just putting a little throw on the side. I think it just adds another dimension and layering and texture within like looking at the entire bed as a whole. 
so this is actually my husband's family tree and so we ended up getting it and we didn't have room for it in our previous home and so just the colors in it go so well with this space that I thought it would be perfect for this room. I don't think I mentioned this about this space, but it actually does have a little loft. That's where the ladder leads to. Um, it goes up to a small loft above there. I have a few ideas what to do with that space. So currently it's kind of a kid's nook, but we might make it into like a little twin bed up there or something just so that if guests have kids, the older kids can maybe sleep up there, but that's another project for another day. This cream and navy rug I actually got at Ikea and it was actually pretty affordable too and it fits this space wonderfully. It kind of just gives some texture to the floor. This console I got off of Amazon and I really do appreciate the cute little like rattan drawers here and so we decided to put that below the TV. My husband also did hang a TV in here just so that our guests can watch TV if they so choose. Nate and I actually don't have a TV in our bedroom, but we thought we'd give our guests the Hilton experience and just have them, you know, have some entertainment in their room if they wish. And then I'm just adding a couple little texture dimensions. So it's fall when I'm filming this, so I put in some little dried flowers and stems. I will be putting the bath towels and bath washcloths in a little basket just to make it look cute. I decided to include some information that I thought our guests would find useful such as our Wi-Fi password and network, as well as how to turn on and off our smart outlets. Just because if you don't have smart outlets, it can be a little confusing. So I included those directions and I think it turned out really good. And here is the afters of what our guest room looks like. I think it looks very charming and welcoming and cozy, which is the feelings that I want our guests to have when they come stay with us. I also really appreciate these little suitcase stands. Since I've made this video or filmed this, we've had a number of guests stay and those are used every time and the guests really appreciate them. Um, so I would totally recommend having those if you're hosting. I find this space very welcoming, very calming, and just a very warm and cozy feel for our guests. I really like how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate you being here and be sure to like and subscribe to this video if you found it inspiring. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.